Hello, welcome to our reflection for the 16th week in Ordinary Time. Let us start this morning in prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Gospel is from Tuesday's Mass. Uh, it's Matthew 12. While he was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. In Matthew's Gospel today, these few verses come right after Jesus is highlighting the hard-heartedness of the religious leaders. Jesus tells those leaders that they are part of an evil and an unfaithful generation, that they are unfaithful to God's covenant, just like Israel of old, who was portrayed as an adulterous wife. Jesus goes on to tell them that even the pagans exhibited more faith than the scribes and Pharisees. Today we hear the inverse of that condemnation. We hear that those who obey Jesus' words have a relationship with him that is deeper than a natural family bond. Jesus tells us, tells them, that whoever does the will of my Heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. Whoever does the will of my Heavenly Father, the requirement to belong to Jesus' family is obedience, is to follow His will. This gives us an opportunity to ask ourselves, how do we do that? How do we follow his will? To start, just as we tell our children and our grandchildren that we must listen, we must be able to hear his voice. To listen and to hear the true voice of God, we need to start with prayer. Prayer keeps us actively participating in God's family in listening to his words. You know, prayer can take many forms, the highest of which is the Holy Mass. During the Mass, the Father brings himself to us. He offers us an entryway into his Son's Paschal Mystery when we attend the Mass. In the midst of the Mass, the beautiful communal and liturgical prayer, we hear him tell us how much he loves us. Do we hear it? Do we listen to his heartbeat as we hear pieces of salvation history read from the embo? Do we feel his heart beating in his humble coming into our presence as the host is transubstantiated into his real presence? As the Mass comes to a close, we are reminded of who we are for the Lord Jesus. Do we hear it? Then we are sent as disciples into the world to bring his presence to others. Do we do it? Jesus made clear that those whom he calls brother, sister, or mother are doing the will of the Heavenly Father. Through the Mass, through our prayer, through the words of Scripture, 
we are all called to participate in God's will, preserving and sharing the treasures we have received, being a sister or brother, or even a spiritual spouse for Jesus to those around us. As we end today, as we have a reminder of, from Sunday's Mass, from our send-off message, our command, that we can't hear if we don't slow down. We can't listen if we don't slow down. We should try to find 10 minutes a day to feed ourselves with 10 minutes of quiet. We can use that time to maybe prepare for the Sunday Mass, read the readings, or for just quiet prayer, or maybe just for silence to listen for the voice of the God, or for doing nothing at all, just finding time for quiet. When we are too busy, we forget that we cannot share what we do not have. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of being part of your family. Help us to be a good brother, sister, and mother to all those around us. Send your Holy Spirit to teach us to listen to your word and to guide and encourage us in the gathering together of more people for your family. Lord Jesus, center our hearts on you that we may be an integral part of your family in the faith. And we offer this in your most holy name. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. May you all have a blessed week.